I'm Breezy Hagel here with Mrs. Ruark to talking about our potential new athletic directors. So I understand that Thursday night we're having a meeting for the community to come and kind of voice their opinions. So what are the expectations of Thursday's meeting? I think the expectations of tonight's meeting um, is really to take the opportunity as a district to hear what the community has to say about our athletic director. Um, we're very interested in hearing what kind of qualities, um, talents, um, and inspiration that person should have for our community. Um, you know, we certainly have a vision in mind for our athletic department. We'd like to hear what the community's vision is um, so that when we are, begin to interview the candidates, you know, we can incorporate those requests and those needs in the process. So what kind of talents and abilities are you looking for with the new athletic director? We are looking for someone um, certainly with leadership skills, um, strong communication skills. I think, but most importantly, we're looking for someone with a, a demonstrated ability um, uh, to, to articulate and carry out a vision for an athletic program. Um, someone who can, you know, take that vision and communicate it with parents, students, community members, alumni, mm -hmm. um, really engage everyone in building a program from ground up. Um, our program certainly um, needs some improvement. We recognize that. And we're hoping that by identifying a strong candidate who has the vision, we can have that program um, move up to the next level. So how many potential athletic directors do we have? Um, we have um, a very strong pool of candidates. Um, the Human Resources Office received over 90 applications for wow. the position. And they have taken the time during the month of January to screen those applications and kind of narrow it down to, I believe we have a pool of six or eight candidates that will make the first round of interviews. Okay, so what are some of the requirements and responsibilities of an athletic director here at Norristown? From, from a very technical perspective, you know, we're looking for someone with a bachelor's degree, um, someone who has proven experience as an athletic director, someone who has significant um, time spent coaching, managing, you know, athletic programs and sports teams. Um, we're certainly looking for someone who has, has, you know, working knowledge of athletics. Um, I think it's very important for us to make sure that we have somebody who um, can hit the ground running and doesn't have, you know, a, you know, long learning curve. Um, you know, from a, you know, from a non-technical perspective, you know, it's, it's the interpersonal skills and qualities yeah. we're trying to get a handle on tonight. So why are we involving the community? I know this has never really happened before where we're giving the community their opinions. I think it's happened on a smaller scale. Okay. Occasionally when the district is um, hiring a position such as a principal, um, the, there will be some outreach to parents in that building to say, okay, okay you know, what would you like to see, you know, when, in, in what kind of qualities would you like to see in the principal that is hired? Um, you know, because it's the athletic director, it's visible beyond the high school level. The person's mm -hmm. also involved with the middle school sports. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we certainly recognize that we, we need a stronger feeder program. Um, we really probably need to involve um, some of the community athletic organizations exactly. at a higher level. Yeah. Uh, so I think, you know, you know, taking the pause tonight and asking the community what they're looking for is probably a really wise move. So who will actually be hiring the new athletic director? I mean, the parents aren't going to be voting on it, right? There's a selection committee? There'll be a selection committee used, which is honestly the, the process that we use for most administrative hires. Um, the selection committee um, hasn't all been worked out yet. I know that our HR team is working on um, firming up the selection committee probably right now. Um, there will certainly be several community members. There'll be several administrators, um, probably several school board members, um, you know, probably a selection team of, you know, eight to ten individuals who will conduct the interviews. So what is the HR team? Did you... You mentioned I'm the sorry, HR it's team. The Human Resources Human Department. Resources right. So, what do they do with the district? Um, Human Resources is really the department that um, takes care of the, the hiring and the recruiting for us. Okay. Um, they're the department that received all the initial applications, they've screened them, um, identified the candidates that will, that will uh, receive an interview in the first round. They will coordinate that interviews, those interviews, but they'll also coordinate um, the activities of the selection committee. Um, so they'll make sure that the selection committee is comprised of individuals um, appropriate, you know, to conduct the interviews on the first round level. Yeah. So I know that some of our sports team coaches have resigned. How are we going about hiring them? I know lacrosse is missing their coaches. Football, we need a new football coach. Mm -hmm. um, we have our first focus, honestly, is on the spring sports. I mean, the football coach is, is a highly visible position in, mm -hmm. any, in any community. And honestly, we're going to let the athletic director be in place and be part of that process. 
Um, but we can't wait for the Springs teams. Yeah. Um, so the high school principal, Jeff Smith, and I are going to conduct interviews for the baseball coach and the girls lacrosse coach. Um, both of them, I think the baseball coach interviews have already been scheduled, okay. and the lacrosse coach interviews will be scheduled shortly. We anticipate having the spring teams coach, I mean the spring coaches, um, all wrapped up in the next few weeks. So will the coaches or athletes have any say in the new athletic director? Honestly, tonight's probably their best opportunity to come out um, and, you know, uh, express their opinion and share their voice about what they would like to see, what qualities, what talents. Um, I, I think, you know, tonight's really a great opportunity for anybody who has a vest, vested interest in the athletic director selection mm -hmm. to come out and let us know what, what they think, what they would like to see, what's most important to them. So will the athletic directors be present at the meeting tonight? They will not. They will not. Um, the uh, first round of interviews hasn't been scheduled yet. It okay. will be scheduled in February. Um, so, you know, until a first round of interviews happens, we would, would not present candidates. So what is kind of the timeline? Like, when do you hope to have a new athletic director hired and when will they begin? Um, in, in an ideal scenario, a new athletic director hi is hired during the month of February. Okay. And, you know, depending on their current work situation, hopefully we can get them on site during the month of March. Okay. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, thank you for this time. Okay. Well, thank you for coming up here. I'm Breezy Hagel here with Mrs. Rourke talking about our new athletic director candidates. Now back to the Eagle's Eye.